Hey everybody, welcome back to Parsnips and Parsimony. Today's video is going to be just Art and I talking a little bit about our kitchen plans. It's something that we've talked about, you guys have seen about on our channel, and we are coming up to our five year anniversary with Parsnips and Parsimony. And we really want, our, our hope is to be able to finally finish this kitchen. One of my New Year's resolutions for this year, 2019, was to get the cabinets finished, but, well, it's not going to happen. But I did start, and I have one board downstairs that I got started. I'll show you that in a little while. So the reality is, when we wanted on Art's New Year's resolution list to do the cabinets this year, it took a lot, and a lot, I mean a lot, of brain power mm -hmm. to figure out how did we want this kitchen? This has been this way for what, almost 10 years now? Uh, yeah, um, yes. Yeah, almost 10 yes. years. We've worked in it. We know what we use. I know what I use every day. And this is the time. If we're going to make changes, now is the time to do it. So I'm going to have go around the room. We're going to show you what we have currently and what some of the changes we want to make are. I'm holding the camera and Janelle will show you what's going on. Okay, so this we don't have any change. We don't have any plans for changing this at all. This is very functional. We are going to change some of the location of some of the items. And I'll tell you this, I'm going to show you, this is real life. This is real life, large um, family style. Just a second. How many years ago did I do this cabinet? This I don't even remember. This one was, this one, five, four or five years ago because this was, wasn't this the cupboard? that if you didn't finish it in time, you're gonna to have to eat with a knife at Thanksgiving, and I think we vlogged that. So I'm gonna say this okay. is four or five years ago. Is that that one? Yeah, I okay. think this is the one. Yes, yeah, so, and then I, I, did I do this one first, or this one? I don't even remember. It was so know. long ago. I think I did this one first, and then I did this one later. Some of the functionality is gonna to have to change. This here, I want my spices here. Currently, my spices are in the island cupboard here. Yes, and I'll show not, you those. This is not feasible. Real this, life, this, people, yes. real life. <laughs> spices, uh. this is a huge headache for me. I don't like it. It's not good use of my time, so this is getting changed. I know that you shouldn't have your spices, or they recommend that you don't have your spices near the stove, but considering the functionality of this kitchen, this is where they belong. This just, to, for me, makes the most sense. So this is coming out. I'm still looking for a spice holder here. If you guys are watching this, you have any suggestions, let me know. Um, I know we don't have the comments, but go to the community page or follow me on Facebook, Instagram. Send me links there if you know of anything that's really fabulous for organizing a lot of spices. So that's gonna be spices. Not sure what's happening with this. I don't, I do not like these glass dishes up here. At least not nested like this. Super huge pain pulling these out, you know, and having to unstack them. Really, again, time consuming. We're trying uh, trying to think about streamlining everything, making it easy, fast, and just particularly with um, children, older children helping with dishes and things like that. The older children don't like to touch this. I don't blame them. I don't like it. So we're gonna fix that. Up here, this is, again, has to be changed. This is not a good use of my space up here. The only thing that I frequently use is the crock pot. I have to get the stepping stool to get it. I don't like it. Not functional at all. So we're going to keep the covers, but I've got to change the arrangement of items within that. And then over here, this is, this up here is probably my most problematic area. These I use every day, multiple times a day. And again, I would like to have something for this so these are not nesting because again, the kids do not like to nest the dishes. I don't blame them. So those are some of the things we want to change within those cabinets, but the cabinet design itself is staying. For the counters, I want this off the counter. The knives, I want in a drawer. So we're gonna have a drawer that will pull out and the knives will be resting inside, blade down. I've had issues with um, children helping that this sometimes just gets a little it's not balanced well and these will fall down I don't like that I want it off the counter for safety reasons it just seems to me a better choice for our family to have it in a drawer the crock is probably gonna go at least the sheer quantity of 
the items here. We've gone through these, we figured out what we need, what we don't need. It's still full. So I want these in a drawer. It'll be either this drawer or this drawer here. I'm not sure which one. And I'll have those laid out inside the drawer for easy um, access right by the stove because that's how I'm cooking here. The drawers on these lower half, again, this is real life, folks. This is what I have to work with. So um, my dishwashing detergent's not going down mm -hmm. <laughs> These no. are all drawers. I'm hoping Tupperware will be in one of them. And then um, dish cloth or dish towels will be in the other one. Not sure. We're going to play around with that. Over here, again, this is going to be another utensil drawer here. This one is a door cabinet here. These large sheet pans, I use these. How many times a day do I use these? Are oh, once or twice. I use these so many times in a week. These will go upright in the shelf like that. And I have my pizza pans, my baking pans. So we'll have that divider here. I'm hoping that we can build a little shelf here for some of the cake pans that don't fit quite. So, I mean, that would be a really waste of use space there. And we can just put them on the shelf right here. So that's oh, oh. reality. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, over here, this cabinet's done, not changing much of anything. This whoa. Oops, cord. We, we use that tonight. So this this is functional. I have my pressure cooker, another crock pot mugs, not a problem there. And then on this side, we have it's a little full. I have my really nice heavy stoneware plates. I don't use these with the kids anymore just because they were breaking. So this is more company and with a family of 10, we go through a lot of bowls. So I know some of you guys might be like, wow, that's a ton of stuff. We have 10 mil. So and we count the plates there, three, six, nine, ten. There's ten plates. That leaves me room for about eight guests. And that's what we have here for Thanksgiving or more um, every year. So things that are used just because we have a lot of people in our house. The quantity's more. This isn't going to change much. Art needs to finish the window casing here and finish the window so that's fully functional. But the big thing that is we need to finish is the lower cabinets here. And so when we originally were designing the kitchen, if you look up, our original thought was we were going to have the light fixtures in there and that was going to be a great working place. So when we did our YouTube videos and I did my cooking videos, you guys would have great visibility. You'd be able to see really well and it was just going to be a great thing. Well, it didn't quite work out like we planned. And we have decided that we are removing this. It just for whatever reason, is not a functional. I mean, I do a lot here because this is such the only cook space that I have, but it's not really functional with the basement door, art going down, doing his woodworking down there. It's really challenging to get large pieces of lumber through the back door, go around the bar, open the door, and try to get down the basement stairs. It's not functional for our family. So the plan is to cut this off here, this is going to go bye-bye. We have here, as you can see, a temporary island. This is something that we picked up a couple of years ago just to see if we liked the island feel. We do. I like it a lot. And so this is going to be, what do we figure, about six, eight inches longer? Right. We were storing this back in the back room yeah. there, but then we put it out there to see if we like the island there, and it turns out we do. I, what I, and I think what I like about it the best is the fact that the kids plop all the way around it, but they keep my side clean. So I have functionality. When I'm over here, I usually can fit two kids here, but then there's always a kid here or a kid here, which really makes it very, very cramped to work in, in the kitchen. So this, we've been having this here for three weeks, four weeks now. And I really like it. The kids take the dishes from the dining room table. They put them here. I let it do a lot of my food prep here. I'm right here by the stove. I have in this, I have drawers here. Again, they're way too small for my purposes here. But yeah, in this, this is a, it's a cheap thing. It probably came from Target or something like that. We bought it used and it is temporary. It Very is falling temporary. apart and it's, it's not in good shape. But we just wanted to see if we liked it. And that's why we got it. 
And I do like it a lot here. Having it a little bit bigger will be a lot better for just sake of ease here. So this will get replaced. In fact, I think this will probably be the first item that we're going, Art's going to be building. We talked to um, a cabinet builder about the possibility of building one of these for us, but that I don't think is going to just it's not going to work out just with the timing and things like that. So our is we've been working on planning out how we want to build this cupboards, shelves, drawers, what we want. You know, it's a huge in-depth process. So once this is built, we can do the big scary thing and chop this off. So all this storage here, which is all of my most all my bulk food, this will have to go inside of this center cabinet here. So that's the part of the planning part that we still are working on. Because this is a bar, our depth of our cabinet is maybe that much. And that's you can not, see right there. It's not really that deep. So we're gonna actually gain more space by moving it to the island. So I'm excited about that. That'll give me a little bit more space to accommodate some of these other things. And then this corner here, you guys have kitchens, know that corners like this are deadly they're dead space they're not functional and i put like i have my coffee maker and a few things that i rarely use way in the back but it's not really a good use of space i'd rather have my coffee maker up above my stove by the um other crock pot where i can reach it when i need it but i don't need it that often so this will end up being a whole bunch more usable space we're still trying to figure out if we want one drawer and a big door at the bottom, like my cookie sheet pans, or if I want to do more of this style here with more drawers. Still working on that um, configuration, trying to be really strategic about what I have. Something that's very annoying to me is this right here. So I have all of my glass 9x13 and lasagna pans here, along with our large mixing bowls. In fact, some of my mixing bowls are not currently here. I do not like this. This is, again, the whole glassware nesting bit, bad news. It's just a problem to deal with. It just takes time. It doesn't flow well. So we're trying to figure out how we want to do that if we want to take those 9 by 13 pans and actually put them in a drawer upright and have them divided so you can just pull them out and use them. Again, some of that planning, we have it totally ironed out, but that's what needs to go in this cabinet are some of those big items, the big bowls, things that are um, we're using every day because this to me, I don't like. I don't like, it doesn't feel neat, it doesn't feel clean or organized and I want systems that are easy for me, but also easy for me to help my kids to apply. Because let's face it, in reality, what's happening in our home right now, we are actually teaching our kids how to manage their homes when they get older. This is like the training ground, you know, so when they're doing dishes, they're learning those systems right now. This isn't a good system. No, we're teaching them bad things. So we're trying, we're so really we're trying, trying to, improve to change that. that. And it's, it is a process because it takes time to build these things. And we are going into Art's quiet time of the work season. So he's gonna have a couple months here where the season's gonna slow down and we're gonna be able to hopefully get some of this done. Our goal is to finish it this year. Uh, but <laughs> you know how things go. I'd be thrilled to start with the island. The island would be a big plus in my book. And then getting these done, the boxes for the drawers, or could put the fronts on them. Getting this done would be a huge, huge amount for me. Once this main project has to get done with the sink, that's going to be a big deal because I'm afraid that sink's going to be out of commission. The kitchen is the heart of this woman. <laughs> and having my kitchen out of commission for any period of time is going to put a lot of stress on me. I'm sure I'll put stress on art because I will be stressed, but the reality is we, I am cooking three meals a day, seven days a week for my family. Not having a kitchen functional is going to be challenging. So that's why we've decided island first and then we'll proceed to the other parts depending on how art's doing, how I'm doing, how the children are doing. 
Right now, looking out towards the future, we're hopeful to get this done this year. But <laughs> sanity first. So, so that's what we've been up to. We want to do some videos for you guys documenting the progress. Progress. We're actually wanting to use this as a tool to um, uh, move us a little bit quicker because we have all of you guys that are going to be holding us accountable to moving us along. So hopefully you'll be seeing more videos of progress. We don't want them to be um, long drawn out videos, but just kind of showing you the progress and um, definitely would like to hear your tips and tricks. If you found certain things that work really well for you in the kitchen, let me know on any of those platforms because I would be happy to hear different ideas, different suggestions. Um, I'm always scouring Pinterest too for new ideas. So Art, what do you want to say? Uh, I want to show them down the basement. Oh! Okay. All right, so we are down in the basement. And we've also been working down here the last couple weeks, getting things set up for his workshop. So hopefully we can make this an easy and productive time when he does have time to work in the cabinets. Here's my table saw, and this is where I got a lot of my work done. And I'll show you over here. Uh, what, where I work on my uh, boards. Whoa, just took me out with a board. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, now this is your this, molder planer. This is, yes, this is the molder planer. And I have the knives set up on it uh, to cut the, um, I don't know if you can see that profile. If you look at the end, yeah, I did this yesterday. I cut this profile okay. and that is going to turn into a door for where we have the trays. And uh, this whole board here should turn into one door. So will you cut that into four uh, different pieces? Yeah, I cut it into four pieces and then you know, put panels in there. And uh, so anyway. So I this to... so this section here, the panel will actually get, yeah, will this, slide into that, right? Yes, the panel slides into there and, well, and then it looks like well, a door. Well, that's pretty neat. And there is my pile of wood that I'm going to use. I should neaten that up a little bit, but anyway, as I use it up, the pile is going to shrink. So here's the panel, and I make that by cutting a board lengthwise, or uh, the long way, I don't know how you call it. And the panel goes right in there. And Look at that. Yep, there it is, and like this is going to turn into a door eventually. <laughs> Hopefully not too long. Definitely have to have some vision when you're doing this. But with this board, I have started the project, and I always say the big part of the battle is actually starting. So <laughs> I, I started this a couple of days ago, and I also had to get the basement back in order so that I could work on my machines without having to go well, without having it be dangerous. So uh, we are into full swing on the cabinets, and hopefully, well, we can get a lot of progress done. And over here, you can see Art's got a lot of these clamps here. When he's doing these big cabinet pieces, he uses a lot of these for the final assembling. And so we've got all those sorted out and ready for use. And then over here, he's got more of his screwdrivers and oh, things don't like show them that. that it's messy. <laughs> well, it's reality, right, right. Art? <laughs> this is the man's heart of the kitchen, right? Right. <laughs> Just like my kitchen is my heart, this tool shop is your heart. Right. So I think that's the big update that's going on. Uh, please be sure to subscribe if you haven't for hopefully some future updates mm -hmm. on in progress on the cabinets. I'm excited. Are you excited? Oh, I'm very excited. I, I, always, I always get excited when we are ready to start a project. Got a little bit of anxiety going on. But we're going to take this step by step. We're going to have you guys come along with us, have some fun, and subscribe. Share this video with your friends, and we'll see you for our next video. Good night. Bye.